you guys have been saying for months, indeed for over a year since the waivers were, were first granted, that in fact this gave you additional leverage withholding the sanctions did and would serve as a deterrent. Clearly, it didn't, uh, you, they didn't provide you with any leverage at all that we can tell because of what you just said in your opening statement about the invasion beginning. So, you know, how, how do you explain to people why you didn't impose these, these sanctions earlier? So, Matt, it's important, uh, and let's just rewind the tape uh, and remember what has happened in recent hours. Uh, yesterday, within uh, a short time frame of the Russian invasion beginning, Germany took decisive, resolute action to take Nord Stream 2 off the table. Today, we followed with our own complementary authorities uh, using uh, the, the uh, powers and, and capabilities uh, that we have. We have always said, in the context of Nord Stream 2, in the context uh, of the steps that we are taking with partners and allies around the world, uh, that one of the most important tools we have in our arsenal is transatlantic unity. Uh, the fact that Germany acted so quickly, so decisively, uh, is in many ways a product of the coordination, of the consultation. Uh, we have done now with two successive German governments. Uh, of course, it started with Chancellor Merkel and her government, uh, and in more recent months, we have had concerted discussions uh, with Chancellor Schultz uh, and his government. The fact that we are acting in unison immediately to take these steps that essentially remove Nord Stream 2 from the equation, uh, that is a byproduct, that is uh, a result of the work that we have done together uh, with the German government over the course of these last uh, several months, over the course of the last year or so. So it sounds to me, correct me if I'm wrong, that your argument, that your argument is that if you had imposed the sanctions earlier, the Germans wouldn't have suspended, done what, the, the Germans wouldn't have done what they did yesterday or it would have been a much bigger lift to get them to, to get them to do that. I, we, what we have said, and our, what our strategy has been predicated on the knowledge uh, that transatlantic unity is the most uh, powerful okay. instrument we have. But, uh, I, I don't, but, but look, the pipeline's already been built, okay? Now, whether it gets turned on or not I, is, is, well, another, is, but, is, is, is another question. Right, so, so you, but you, presumably, you, you had more leverage and I, and I don't understand why you don't think that you would have had more leverage if it hadn't been, if these sanctions had been imposed before the pipeline was finished. So, Matt, you also raise a good point. Uh, the pipeline, when this administration came into office, was more than 90% complete. Uh, we have imposed sanctions under PISA uh, on uh, a number of uh, targets associated uh, with this pipeline, persons and entities. Uh, but the fact is that had we sanctioned uh, Nord Stream 2 AG, had we sanctioned its corporate office holders, uh, it is far from clear that that would have kept the pipeline from going into operation. What the Germans did yesterday uh, was to ensure that the pipeline is no longer part of the equation. Right. So by acting together with the Germans, how we did, when we did, and the way in which we did, uh, we have ensured uh, that this is an $11 billion prize investment that is now a hunk of steel uh, sitting at the bottom of the sea.